Hey guys, Kronegar here. Hola, this is a new series in which I'll be talking about gangs that have been present in the main games, Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2, and Borderlands 3. Let's talk about the Butcher and see how things have changed. In Borderlands 1, Hyperion weapons had very high accuracy and very low recoil. The Butcher was a 5 round burst shotgun with extremely high fire rate and low pellets. It would come in every element variant, with the only exception being incendiary. It was fun to use, but definitely this was not the strongest shotgun you could get. And also, you would need to rely on some sort of ammo regen in order to use it in long fights. Due to all the manufacturer's changes and butcher changes in the following games, it's kind of funny to look back at the butcher in BL1 because it looks very simple. In Borderlands 2, Hyperion weapons changed a little bit. And now, the longer you fire, the more accuracy and stability the weapon gets. And the Butcher got impactful changes as well. It is now full auto, it has a chance to refill ammo in your mag, and it is a lesson. It still has low pellets, but these are terrific changes and made the weapon much better than its predecessor. It could come in every elemental variant, with the only exception being explosive. And, I mean, can you imagine an explosive Butcher on Creek? That could have been just bonkers. We all know that in Borderlands 2, most per lessons are not great, but, but this shotgun is one of the strongest ones you can get. In Borderlands 3, the Butcher gets a new skin, of course. Hyperion weapons still have the same accuracy perk than they had in Borderlands 2, but now Hyperion weapons have an energy shield when aiming downsides. This is the only game where you can get the Butcher in every single element and where you can get the 6 spells variants, although that variant consumes 2 ammo instead of 1. This shotgun is a fucking monster, like the chance to refill ammo got greatly increased and you can fire this thing forever with no ammo gen. and if you combine it with the good damage it has, it just makes the gun useful for every character in the game regardless of the build. It is good, it is too good actually. But yeah, that's, uh, those are all the changes that the Butcher has been through and as you can see it just kept getting better and better. So that's it, see you in the comment section and uh, bye bye.